name is Richard Cash. I'm a physician, infectious disease specialist, public health specialist. Uh, I wear many hats. I'm a visiting professor here at the James P. Grant School of Public Health at Brack University. I'm a visiting professor uh, at the Public Health Foundation of India and in Delhi, where I'm presently based. I'm also a faculty member of the Harvard School of Public Health in Boston, uh, USA. Well, the Public Health Foundation uh, in India is uh, involved in a number of activities, including uh, developing of courses and degrees uh, in uh, various issues of public health, such as uh, uh, health care financing, health economics, management, uh, uh, and a number of other areas. They uh, presently conduct research activities in vaccine uh, delivery, in health manpower development, uh, in pharmaceutical policy, uh, universal health care, many, many uh, uh, issues uh, uh, that are part of their portfolio. a victory but this uh, great accomplishment of making India polio free. Now that means it's been eliminated from India but it's not been unfortunately yet eradicated from the world but it represents a huge accomplishment and it shows again what can be done uh, when one marshals all of the uh, forces uh, that are available in a, uh, an effective way. Um, so there are different ways of addressing your question. What are the next challenges? One can put it in specific uh, disease uh, uh, priorities. You mentioned polio. Uh, a very big challenge is tuberculosis because of the uh, first of all, long term nature of that disease and the fact that we are developing resistant strains. So in terms of diseases, certainly that is uh, in the area of uh, infectious diseases, how to reduce the uh, incidence of diarrheal disease because of the large amount of, or the large, um, the extensive open defecation that takes place in India. So anything that deals with enteric disease and how that affects the nutritional status of children in all of these areas, both in preventive services and in uh, services for infectious diseases and in chronic diseases and the overall system, all of these represent to me major challenges and I would be uh, a bit reluctant to say one is much, much more important than the other. My association with BRAC actually goes back to its uh, original founding when there was uh, Sir Fosley and two other people in his office. So I've gone, f I've seen it from a, a startup of three people to now well over 100,000 people uh, and have watched it grow uh, exponentially over the years, not just in terms of the number of people, but in terms of the services uh, and the uh, various uh, programs that they have developed over the years. I've been most associated, of course, with health programs such as their OTEP oral training uh, program or oral rehydration training program, uh, the development of their uh, community health worker programs, uh, their tuberculosis treatment programs. Uh, those are the ones that I have had the most uh, contact with uh, over the years, but have also seen how they have been integrated into uh, the overall BRAC uh, approach to development. I think it means giving people a peace of mind so that they feel that uh, because things are going to happen, bad things are going to happen, and, and to give them the peace of mind that they can uh, access, uh, prevent disease and access services should they want them and continue on with their life, not go into debt, not go uh, be driven into poverty simply because they have to take care of their health and the health of their family and loved ones.